the mind cannot help you here. It can help you a little bit, but it cannot come all the way. It is necessary a little bit on the way, but it cannot come all the way. Somewhere you will fall away. You will not be able to come. When you search for you and cannot find one, He will have already fallen away. When you find only a weak representation, a fake identity of you, and you will say, No, that's not, not that. It's not photograph. It's not any of these things. It's as though some inner, some taxidermy has taken place on you. You'll be thinking it's solved, and then I alone am here. Then won't I be bored? I have nothing to do. He will try and catch you even here. He is standing outside the gates of Nirvana. And he's telling you, listen, just one more thing you do. But I am also telling you, but you are already in. You say, yes, but this is one more thing I have to do. You touch that one thing and it's going to multiply into hundreds of things. This is the great paradox. You are already the thing you are searching for, but you don't know. You remember I told you so many times I quoted Rumi, knocking at the door. He says, I'm knocking at the door. Let me in, let me in. And the door opens. I've been knocking from inside. Still, this knocking had to happen, because you don't know where you are. Please let me in. Let me in. The door had to open. Grace had to reveal itself. Then you realize, ah, I've always been in. But the man telling you, ah, it's a trick. It's a trick. Work hard. The awakening will tell you, look. Because we believe the mind is sending on so many journeys, uh, many successes, He's telling you, listen, you're, you, whatever you need to know to keep you on the road, you're not good enough yet. You need to exercise a bit more. You know, you didn't listen to Muji properly. Sometimes you pretend to be on, on my side. You know? Yeah, you know. Yeah. You need to sit long, longer. Get up early and, and oh God, keep believing and let down. Keep believing. It never reach. It never reach. There is no water in a mirage. There is no water that you will drink in a mirage. As Saint Francis said, what? St. Francis of Assisi, he says, What you are searching for is already the place you are searching from. He actually said that. What you are searching for is already the place you are searching from. I said, Wow, he's playing with my head, I don't know. What does it mean? You believe your mind, you see. The mind is telling you near. The truth is telling you here. 
Mario. Yeah. Huh? Your mind is a mirage. He's telling you, come, come. Come, come. You're nearly here. Near. Near. One man is going out into the desert. He go what tourist. He's going out into the desert. The people say, Where are you going? Will you take no water with you? He said, No, I'm going for a walk. I know my way back. <laughs> but there's no way back. You walk in the sand, you come back, there it's changed. Ah yeah, it's okay. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Off he goes. And then the sun is coming up. He's walking. Ah. Nothing, no signpost. Then he looks in desperateness. He sees palm trees and he sees water. Run, run, run. To get, he can't reach. And then he collapses. Ah. Then almost the vultures are waiting. One Bedouin come and find him, and he says, "Brother, uh, please come back with us." They gave him water. Come back with us. There's nothing there in the desert. We live here in the desert. We know there's nothing there for you but death. He drinks, and he goes, ah, "Thank you. Nice people, you. But I'll be on my way." So he keeps walking the same direction. Again, thirst comes. It's a hot day. There's no shade, no trees. And again, he sees ah, palm trees and a lovely tent. Camels, he sees. Water, nice blue water. He's not getting there. Collapses again. Another man find him, my friend. You're going in the wrong direction. Drink this water. We live in the desert. We are desert people. I know what you are seeing. It's not real. It's not real. Here is mirage. It's, there's no water to be found there. It's an illusion. All the people live in the desert. They notice. Come back with us. Look. Look around you. Look at all these bones and vultures landing on them. They are others that went before you. They never they saw what you are seeing now, mirage. They never made it. They never had any water. Come back with us. Then finally he listens. Somehow. Okay. And he comes and he's saved. The mind is telling you, keep going. Come with me, come. Just over the hill, just over the hill, just over the hill. We'll get to that rainbow soon. Come, come. Ah. Every picture that you see with your mind or inside your your being, they are all shaped out of time and change. All that you value, all that you yearn for, all that you touch, all that you sense, all that you imagine, one day will be gone. None of it stays. Not even you, as the person you think you are. Find that which will never go away. And it is here today. Not especially today, but you are here today. Recognize that's all you need to do. You can't possess it. You can only discover it. If you try to possess him, he becomes like a mirage also. If you recognize him, he will never leave you. You will leave you and become him and find you are he. Don't be awake for a day and two days and go back to foolishness. Is it possible even? 
something is taken care of, each one. Because perhaps if the full blast of seeing came, something may not be able to, to hold it. Everything, we are slowly reacquiring the taste for your own self. We love tastes. We want to taste the honey. You don't want to be the honey. But here you can taste the honey, and you are also the honey. <laughs> Even determination by itself is not enough. Understanding must come, and direct experience will confirm you are here, you see. But we have to overcome something, uh, this serpent of attachment, you see, this desire for what the mind creates, uh, to be pleased by the sense objects or the projections of the mind, and we keep waiting. You know, you, I want freedom, but there is still something I need to sort out first. And I say, no, find freedom first, and see to sort out the thing afterwards, if it is there if it was there in the first place. <laughs>